Well, guys, Diddy is making headlines again because he is getting hit with another SA lawsuit by a former male employee this time. Now, the person Rodney says a Diddy would touch his you-know-what and his behind showed alleged video of Stevie J having SEX with a man and was allegedly assaulted by Young Miami's cousin. So, all of this information did come from the neighborhood talk, so shout out to them. So, it says Thanksgiving 2022, Mr. Jones is SA'd by Young Miami's cousin. So, 74 says on Thanksgiving Day 2022, Mr. Jones was in Mr. Combs' house located in Miami, Florida. Young Miami and her female cousins were also present. Mr. Combs was intoxicated and offered Coca-Cola to Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones rejected him and proceeded to walk to the restroom. While using the restroom, Young Miami's cousin burst into the bathroom and began groping Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs sent her in there to SA Mr. Jones. As she entered the bathroom, she dropped to her knees and began performing oral you-know-what on Mr. Jones exposed you know what mr jones pushed her away and exited the bathroom young miami's cousin did not accept mr jones rejection as she proceeded to follow mr jones out of the bathroom she started undressing and attempt to straddle him and have sex with him in the presence of mr combs and his staff baby did he making young miami cousin look like a wild one it also says once again mr jones pushed off the following images are from a video of young miami her cousin mr jones and mr combs Mr. Jones and Mr. Combs on Thanksgiving Day, right before Mr. Combs invites Mr. Jones into the restroom and attempted to force him to take Coca-Cola. Then the second picture shows young Miami and her female cousin who SA'd Mr. Jones on Thanksgiving Day of 2022. Now, I just knew it was a matter of time before young Miami was brought up into this whole situation with Diddy. Now, if you guys remember when Young Miami was getting into it with Diddy's side chick, Gina, she said, if I wanted you to eat my P-word, Diddy would have had you on your knees, H-O-E, you a eater. Now, with all the allegations that's going around with Diddy, this did not make the situation any better, and a lot of people felt like Young Miami was down with it. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that, and moving on to the next topic, which is about NBA Youngboy's a Baby Mama Arcola. Now you guys know I previously did a video on her allegedly being kidnapped. Somebody help me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys help me. I just got kidnapped. I can't breathe in this car. I can't breathe. It won't let me pull this latch. Help me. Somebody help me. So shortly after that live, Arcola went on social media and said, I am okay, it's really me. The people close to me know I'm okay. That's why my family haven't posted me. I'm okay, I swear. She then says, I'm okay. Now, a lot of people felt like she pulled the Carly Russell, and it seems like that's what she did. The only thing she didn't do was call the police. So she went on Twitter spaces and basically said it was supposed to be a joke, even though what she did was not a joke. There is people and children getting kidnapped every single day. That is a very serious thing, and it's nothing to joke about. Like I just was really out here on that Carly or Carly, whatever her name is, that type of shit. I never called the police. That's the difference. I never got on live and said, call the police. I said, call my mom. I seen the green latch. If I was really kidnapping, I would have pulled that motherfucker. The first but thing. yeah, it was childish. And you do have to stop doing certain stuff because you do have a bigger following. But bitches just need to mind their fucking business, period. I do. And that's why I said I apologize because my intentions, th those were never my intentions. I was never trying to put it like I was really like, you know, Kidnapped. I was never finna go along with that story. Like I said, if they, you they, they wanted you to page, keep it going you with a lie, with a whole ass lie, <laughs> so they could call you a I was more of a liar. Girl, I was never finna do that. Like I said, if you don't understand my sense of humor, that's on you.
But yeah, I do need to stop playing like that. You are absolutely correct. Lesson learned from this situation. I would never play like that again. But stop trying to make it like I was really just trying to go on with the lie. I was outside for a reason. I'm not hiding. I'm not. I'm not trying to make it like I really got kidnapped. Like I said, it was a prank gone wrong. Y'all blew that video. Up. Yeah, prank gone wrong. you still young. You bitches are liars. On my soul, you're a liar, bitch. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. I was joking. Y'all wish I really got kidnapped. Or y'all wish, y'all really thought I was going to get on there and keep lying about it. And th those were never my intentions. It just so happened, somebody screen recorded it, and all these blogs just start posting it. Well, a lot of people on social media are calling Arcola weird because she pretended to be kidnapped when there's kids and grown people that's getting kidnapped every single day, and it's not a joke. Which I can understand why everybody is upset because it's not a laughing matter and it's not a joke. And then she tries to tell people, oh, mind your business and this, that, and the third. Well, you posted it on social media. When you post something on social media, it's meant to be everyone's business. If you want to keep it to yourself, keep it in your phone. Why post it on social media? Why go live? When you put something on social media, it is then everyone's business. Because I hate when people get on social media, y'all need to mind y'all business. You put it on social media. So therefore, it's everyone's business. But anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.